This video shows you how to use the Elite CSV Converter window to create your own manufacturer equipment database files for use in RHVAC. Click the Tools menu. Click Elite CSV Converter. The Elite CSV Converter window lets you convert data that you downloaded from AHRI into an Elite Software Equipment Database file. To use this window, you simply follow steps 1 to 8. This window has its own built-in help file with a tutorial. Click the menu Help Tutorial. Scroll down below the image. The first set of instructions explains how to get a CSV file. We will get an XLSX file from the ahridirectory.org website, then convert it to a CSV file. Click the link. We want to find some standard air conditioner models. On the ahridirectory.org website, click Product Type. Click Residential. Click Air Conditioners and Air Conditioner Coils. Click AHRI Rating Conditions. This page lets you do a quick search through air conditioner models by entering criteria on the left hand side. The Advanced Search lets you specify a few more search criteria items than the Quick Search. Click Conduct Advanced Search. Select Carrier for the Outdoor Unit brand name. Since we are on the Advanced Search page, we can enter a series name as part of the query. Enter Infinity 19 for the series name. Let's search for units that have 2 tons of capacity and that have a SEER 2 value of exactly 16.5. Enter 24,000 BTUH, 2 tons, for both min and max. Enter a SEER 2 of 16.5 for both min and max. Click Search. We can see that our search yielded 57 air conditioners. Click Export Search Results to save these results as an XLSX file, which we will later convert to a CSV file. Let's name the file in a way that will remind us of the search criteria we used. Click Save to save the file to our local hard disk. Now let's do another search for standard air conditioners. This time the quick search criteria will be all we need since we will not need to enter a series name. Select Carrier again for the Outdoor Unit brand name. This time we want to find units that are exactly 3 tons, or 36,000 BTUH. Click Search. This search yielded 100 results. Click Export Search Results to save the XLSX file. Let's again name our XLSX file in a way that will remind us of the search criteria we used. Click Save. Now let's search for some furnaces. Click Product Type. Click Residential. Click Furnaces. For brand name, select Armstrong. Click Search. Our search yielded nine results this time. Click Export Search Results to save another XLSX file. Name the file to remind ourselves that it contains Armstrong furnaces. Click Save. 
Return to the RHVAC program. We need to convert our three XLSX files into CSV files so they can be selected in this window. Let's take another look at the tutorial in the help file. Before converting the XLSX files into CSV files, we will need to open each XLSX file in OpenOffice or Excel and delete row 1. We will use OpenOffice. Bring the File Explorer window that shows our XLSX files to the front. Double click the first file we downloaded to open it in the OpenOffice program. If you have Excel, you can use it for these files instead. Notice that row 1 is just an advertisement to try to get you to pay for a subscription to get the AHRI data with fewer limitations. In March of 2024, the AHRIdirectory.org website added this row 1 advertisement. This was done immediately after Elite Software released a version of RHVAC with the Elite CSV Converter feature that was based on there being no advertisement in Row 1. So just be aware that the AHRI organization may make other changes to the format of the XLSX files in the future that would again make this entire Elite CSV Converter feature unusable. We need to delete the AHRI advertisement in row 1. Right click the row header. Click Delete Rows in the pop up menu. In Excel, it just says Delete. Now let's save this XLSX file as a CSV file so we can bring it into the Elite CSV Converter window. Click the File menu. Click Save As. Select Text CSV for the file type. Click Save. On this warning about not all content being saved, click Keep Current Format. The options on the Export Text File dialog look fine, so click OK. Now let's repeat that process for the other two XLSX files. Delete row 1. Select text CSV. Convert our final XLSX file. Bring the Elite CSV Converter window back to the front. For Step 1, the model type is already set to standard air conditioners. For Step 2, click the drop-down Help button to select the first CSV file we created. Select the Carrier 2-ton AC file. For step 3, we do not need to do anything since the default mapping for standard air conditioners was loaded automatically. We want to remove some of the air conditioners from our first search, so click the CSV File Grid tab. Let's remove these two rows that are two stage. Hold the Control key down and click each row. Click Delete Two Selected Rows. For step 4, let's enter my carrier for the file name. In order to avoid changing the standard Elite Software Equipment Database files, use something like my carrier instead of just carrier. For step 5, we can see that the program has already set the folder to the default location for Elite Software Equipment Database files. We also have the option of browsing for a folder. For step 6, we do not need to do anything since the CSV header column in the mapping does not have any rows that say missing. A mapping is a selection of column headers in the CSV file that we want to map to the database field names shown on the left. 
The drop-down help for the CSV header column shows you all the available column headers in the current CSV file. In this example, the selected header is mapped to the model field. And this column header is mapped to the SEER2 field. If the CSV file we loaded in Step 2 had different column headers than those in the built-in mapping, some of these CSV header entries would say missing and we could create a new mapping. For Step 7, we can leave these first three options set to their default values. See the drop-down help for each item for more information. For the Assign Sensible and Latent Capacities from Percent Sensible Capacity option, we can leave things as they are as well. This will assign nominal values to those fields in case you need them in your RHVAC reports. Once you've created your database file, you can also get manufacturer performance data for air conditioners at your design conditions and save the adjusted sensible and latent capacities in it. You may be required to obtain this adjusted data at your design conditions since not all inspectors will accept nominal performance data in a permit request. If that's the case, you may need to use a web app such as MyCarrierRatings.com to determine your equipment's performance at your design conditions. To learn how to use a special manufacturer web app for obtaining adjusted performance ratings at your design conditions, see our Entering Equipment Data for Manual S video on YouTube. For Step 8, click the Create button. Now let's load the CSV file that contains the Carrier 3 ton air conditioners. Let's leave the file name set to My Carrier in order to add the 3 ton units to the 2 ton units that we just added to the database file. Let's delete some units from this CSV file as well. Click on the Model Status column to sort by that column. Click it again to sort in the other direction. Let's select the production stopped rows by holding down Control and clicking each row. Click the Delete button. Click the Create or Edit Database File button again. Since the MyCarrier.mdb file doesn't need to be created this time, this will simply edit the existing file. Let's switch to the furnaces model type and then bring in our Armstrong furnaces. Browse for our Armstrong CSV file. Since these are Armstrong units, let's enter a different file name for step 4. Remember to enter more than just the brand name for the file name to avoid conflict with downloadable Elite Software database files. So use My Armstrong instead of just Armstrong. Click the Create button again. Close the Elite CSV Converter window to return to RHVAC's main window. Let's take a look at the new air conditioner and furnace models we now have available. Click the Tools menu. Click Find HVAC Equipment. The default Quick Cool database is loaded, so we need to change to our new My Carrier database. Click the first option to select our new file. Double-click MyCarrier.mdb. Change the model type to Single or Two-Stage Air Conditioner. Click Find Now. Let's open a project and select an air conditioner and a furnace from our new databases. Use RHVAC's taskbar to switch to the Project Explorer window. Double-click the sample RHVAC 10.r10 project file to open it. Open the system data window.
click the Equipment tab. You can see that the existing heating equipment is from the example Quick Cool database. Click the Cooling tab. Cooling is from Quick Cool as well. Bring the Find HVAC Equipment window back to the front. Double click a carrier air conditioner to copy its data to the system data window. Let's change to our new My Armstrong database to select our furnace. Change the type input to Natural Gas Furnace. Click Find Now. Double click a furnace model to copy its data back to system data. Let's take a look at our selected equipment in the Equipment Data Report. Click Select Reports. Click the Clear All button. Check the box for the Equipment Data Report. Click Preview. Thanks for watching.